This is the new Tourist, which features a free and easy to use panoramic photography feature. Once you've downloaded the latest version of the app and have registered your account, please sign in. Then, to shoot and share your own panos, tap the Create button from the home screen of the app. It may take a couple of seconds for the photo tool to load, but when it does, you're good to go. To begin, center your device on a space that is devoid of much detail, and if you're indoors, choose a space that is not too heavily lit. Tap the camera button to capture your first of 10 images which will comprise your pano. Then, without moving, rotate your body to the right just enough to align your new field of view with the edge of the last image you shot. When this is well aligned, tap the camera button again. Now continue this process until all 10 images have been shot. If you notice there's a significant overlap or missing space between the edge of your final image and your first image, if you notice the app is acting unstable, or if you're looking to reduce the obviousness of a change in perspective between each image that you're shooting, see the tips and FAQs on this webpage. Once your last image has been shot, Tourist handles the stitching and automatically determines your location. Next up, it's time to add a few details. First of all, it's important to understand that a tourist tour consists of one or more panos. That's a panoramic image. Since you just shot a pano, we need to assign it to a tour, so either choose an existing tour or create a new one. Now's your chance to help others find your pano as well. Choose a category that best represents the type of environment you're sharing and at least one subcategory. Next, you'll need to name your pano. As you can see from this example, panos represent individual areas or shots within a collective environment. Finally, if you'd like others to understand the space or experience, this description field is where you can tell the story. Please be advised that your pano has to be done stitching to be uploaded, and that the upload process itself may take a few minutes without much of an indication of progress if your internet connection is slow. In roughly 10 minutes, your pano will be live, so let's check out where you'll find it. For starters, you'll get a notification email like this one, where you can tap on the title or thumbnail to view your pano through Tourist.com. If you tap the bottom link from your iDevice, your pano will launch in the app instead. You should also be able to find your new pano by browsing for new additions or all tours within the app or website. And of course you can access it through My Tours, which is also available through both the app and website. As the owner of your tours and panos, you can make changes at any time by tapping these owner-exclusive buttons. If you tap Edit Tour, for example, you can change your tour name, categorization, you can add keyword tags, a description, assign your tour to a street address, or select its location by dropping a pen on a map. Much like tourist professionals who shoot panos using digital SLR cameras, you can even select panos from your computer and upload them to add them to your tour. Changes made here are immediately visible across the tourist website and app. Once you're happy with your tour, it's time to share it. Not only can you share via Facebook, Twitter, and email, you can also embed your pano into any website or blog. Just click this button to bring up our embed widget, which automatically generates the right code based on your embedding preferences. We even offer advanced tools and support if you want to get more fancy with things like multiple direct embeds on the same web page. Finally, you can even have traffic reports generated weekly or monthly. Just choose reports from your account within the website and make your selections. That's it. The closest thing to teleportation is now at your fingertips and it's free. Enjoy and please tell your friends, family and colleagues.